Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV inside El Madrigal. Um, Liverpool have booked their place in the Champions League final again, again, for the third time under Jurgen Klopp. We are going to a European Cup final, our fourth European final since he took over. Just astonishing stuff in every sense of the word. Astonishingly bad in the first half. Like we talked about it on the build-up show. We did the, the match day morning show this morning. We said, "What are Villarreal going to do? They're going to come swinging. They're going to give a flurry in that first 20 minutes, and you've got to withstand it." And Liverpool did not withstand it for a, for a minute. You know, we, we we nearly threw it away straight away. They came. They came with intensity. The atmosphere and the Villarreal fans was incredible. They, they had their game plan right and Liverpool couldn't make it stick, they were all over us. We couldn't get out, we couldn't breathe, we couldn't string more than two or three passes together. And I, and I, I felt at half time like Liverpool had picked the side for the nice game of football and they'd come for a fight. And it felt like it needed Diaz and it felt like it needed Hendo. And as it turns out, maybe half right on that one. Diaz coming on absolutely I'd say he individually changes the game, but I think he provided a real spark. He gave us a real width. I feel like Jota and Mane, they both wanted to play the same position. They both ended up very narrow, and it really ha it hampered how we played down that left-hand side. We never had that out ball, and Diaz gave us that. And not just that, obviously, it's an incredible dribble and threat with the ball as well. Um, yeah, you know, to go in 11 in the tie at half-time, I'm not, I have to be honest, I'm a glass half full kind of guy, but... I knew it was going to take something monumental. It was not guaranteed, probably. It was not guaranteed that Liverpool were going to find a way to dig our way out of that. That felt very much more like Villarreal were going to just turn it on and do more. But what? And I, I wonder whether the Jurgen Klopp's message would have been at half time. Come in and do to them in the start of the second half what they've done to us. Because all of a sudden, Villarreal had something to lose. They were so tantalisingly close to getting that final. So they battled their way through deservedly got themselves level in the tie but what do you do next? And what happened next was Liverpool have saved for themselves and Liverpool played like the Liverpool that we know and love so very, very much. They got over the ball, they took the risk, they were more physical, they were more aggressive. Naby Keita, a, a game of too hard for him, it just, it just didn't work in the first half, second half, brilliant. Thiago, two hours, first half, didn't work, second half, brilliant. Fabinho, first half, didn't work, second half, brilliant. The front three is a lot. Just absolutely brilliant for this Liverpool team. Inspirational stuff, in fact, to come out there and say, no, nope, no, nope, we're not giving this up. We're not going to go coldly and, and quietly into the night. We want to be in that final. They are at stakes the game. I'd rather maybe, maybe if they just won that in the first half. But we felt emotions there that I think a lot, I, I know personally, I, this felt like box ticking exercise, ticking exercise, that's stupid. And that's a dangerous mentality. And I, I don't think the players necessarily felt like that. But all of a sudden, this has become one of the great European nights. You know, and not only that, we won the tie on the night as well. We finally won a European away semi-final under Jürgen. Um, just magical stuff, and we turned it on. And by, uh, by all accounts, by the end, it could have been five or more. Just, just incredible. I love this Liverpool team so much. They are the absolute best. It's an honour to support them, and I trust that you believe that too. What a football team, and we're going to Paris to try and win another European Cup. Best football team on the planet is this mighty night. There's some more from the boys back home. Uh, there'll be a vlog from me at some point tonight and maybe early hours of tomorrow over on Mates TV. But check out Redman Plus if you want more from us as we go all the way to Paris and beyond. Up the fucking Paris back home.